Welcome to the <laughs> FPGA stand up. Yeah, thanks. So uh, what we do here is we talk about what we've done over the past week and what we've got planned for the next week. And then if there's any roadblocks or uh, needed resources, anything uh, like that. Um, so the uh, floor is yours. Sure. Um, as I know, we, we skipped a week. So um, the week prior to this, I was uh, working on getting OpenCPI to, to interface with uh, Andre's work uh, using the XE4 Lite interface. And I was able to do that via the control plane. So I didn't do it for, for his IP directly, but I, I did do it for a generic register map. Um, I noticed that he was using Air HDL. Um, to implement the register map. So I imp implemented a simpler version of that just to prove that it's possible to, to interface with that. Um, so the next step is to, to take um, the, the encoder uh, and, and instantiate it inside op OpenCPI and be able to configure that uh, encoder via that interface. Uh, the next thing, uh, in, uh, uh, this past weekend, I was working on OpenCPI's ability to use uh, PCI Express as an interconnect, because um, I know Andre had mentioned that he is using the Light Fury FPGA um, locally. Um, so I, I want to support the work he's doing um, and, and be able enable him to use OpenCPI with that board as well. So um, that that is coming along. I, I did hit a we had a, a hiccup uh, and I we had a, I had a breakthrough this past weekend to get that, that flow working for the Pico EVB, which is similar to the Light Fury. Um, so hopefully there's a path forward to get that platform uh, OpenCPI compatible so that that he can uh, we can continue doing the work on the encoder um, with OpenCPI uh, and, the and the platforms that are available to the developers. Oh boy. Oh, it sounds um, like some, some big infrastructure work there. Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as there's nothing blocking me uh, and that's what I'll, I'm, I'll be working on till next meeting. Okay. Yeah, that's a uh, plenty. <laughs> that's good <laughs> stuff. Thank yeah. you so much. All right, Paul. All right, Paul, mm -hmm. you have the floor. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I just barely got my headphones hooked up. Um, I don't have anything to report. It's going to be short. Uh, we stole some equipment from the remote lab for uh, other work, but uh, nothing FPGA related. So. Yeah, nothing FPGA related yet. So um, do, do you want to go ahead and, and talk about the, uh, the Beacon project because it relates to the default digital downlink that will eventually become um, part of the system and eventually be in, okay. in HDL most likely? Yeah, that's, that's right. We are trying to do a demo for a local group of microwave enthusiasts uh, of a Beacon project that can transmit DDBS2. Uh, from GNU, a GNU radio flow graph through a microwave transverter. What we're dealing with right now is that the, we don't seem to have enough drive on the transverter. So working on trying to either adjust that or stick in a little gain block. But the uh, right now the DVBS2 is being all done by the, the actually it's being pre-canned in a file, but it could be done uh, in a flow graph. And we have also demonstrated that here. I might want to switch over to that for the demo. That remains to be seen. But uh, the idea is uh, eventually come up with a, a box of modest size, maybe a, a small PC, hopefully something even smaller than that would be nice. They could go on a mountaintop and, and beacon the, uh, the waveform, which would encourage people to get equipped for receiving DBS2 and possibly uh, set some new standards or at least uh, encourage some existing standards in the amateur digital television. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, eventually this will be, I think, folded into um, at least HDL or, or related. Uh, so this is part of the end-to-end -end, um, sort of model that we spoke about at the, uh, the technical uh, committee. 
So that's that's what we're we're working towards. Uh, it's what we've been working on the past uh, couple of days, and what we're working towards. The demo will be on on Thursday, and so that's my report as well. Is that's what we're we're trying to bring. Uh, learning a lot about amplification and getting a lot of good advice. And the goal is to have this up on mountaintops uh, wherever people can can install it. Um, and in terms of like resources or or anything like that, uh, I think we're set. Uh, except for some things that we have ordered and need to come in on time. And uh, no no specific roadblocks, except maybe uh, what we don't know that we don't know yet. Agreed. Yeah, so very fun. It's nice to be part of the demo. The other part of the work um, that, that, I'm, that I'm involved with, and, and also Paul as well, is the GSE Python uh, module or block or um, uh, you know, exam code, uh, and so this is a repository that's in the uh, that's that's in Phase Four Ground uh, project, and that we're hoping to offer that as part of maybe a Python end-to-end -end system model to try to get uh, GSC um, as as it's laid out in the DVS2 and GSC spec implementation guidelines. So using their advice and the way that uh, DVB org has has set it up. That's what we're taking as a as a guideline for this. So we're hoping to bring that to the table um, soon over the next couple of weeks in order to to contribute towards a uh, simulation model in order to compare against the things that we're doing over the air. And in terms of like roadblocks or resources for that, I think that uh, time would be great, uh, more time and. Yeah, but I think we're, we're good in terms of resources. The implementation guidelines from DVB are actually really good. And the, uh, the code that we're using is, is not bad. Uh, I don't think it's working quite yet, uh, but we're, we're coming along. And that's, uh, I think that's it for me. Anything else, Paul? No, I don't have anything else for this meeting. Okay, very good. Any, uh, any other questions, Aaron, before we close out for the day? Nope, I'm good for now. Thank you. All right, wonderful. Okay, see you on Slack, and I'll uh, yep. post the the meeting uh, video for anybody that wants to review it. And if you're watching this and you want to get involved, then at the end there'll be a link to find out how to get started on this project. If you have some some feedback for us, we are welcome to hear it. And uh, we're looking forward to a presentation at the San Bernardino Microwave Society on this coming. Thursday. I'll put a link to that as well. Uh, it's an in-person meeting in Corona, California, but is also simulcast and also and, and recorded. So uh, you you won't you won't miss it if you're remote. Te technology permitting. Yes, technology permitting. <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, see y'all soon. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye bye.